Hi Fishers residents, today I'm out here at our agri park and today we will be talking about some sunflower seeds. The first step in harvesting sunflower seeds is making sure that the flower is facing downward like this one is and then also letting it dry out either on the stem or off of the stem. If you're going to take it off of the stem to dry out, you're going to want to cut it right above the head of the sunflower. If you're going to leave it drying on the stem, you want to make sure that the leaves are turning brown and on the back side of it and that the seeds on the inside are becoming loose and plump. When you begin to harvest your sunflower seeds, before they've even really gotten too dry out, you might see some of this on your sunflower. Feel free to just take your hand across and start wiping some of this off. And then you'll be able to see where your sunflower seeds are and to kind of tell too if they are ready to be picked out or not. This one is could use a little bit longer to dry out a little bit, but you can see that the seeds are a decently sized and could be ready really pretty soon. If you're worried that birds are going to be getting some of your sunflower seeds while you're letting them dry outside, feel free to cut them off about six inches from the head of the sunflower and hang them inside upside down to dry in a place that's gonna make sure that it's going to dry out completely so that way you don't have to worry about the birds nor do you have to worry about anything happening to your sunflower from other animals outside. When your sunflower seeds are ready to be pulled out of the sunflower head, these ones are still a little immature. Um, you want a nice dark one and you also want them to be nice and plump. Um, when you're ready though, you're gonna just go ahead and put your, take them out one by one. If you don't have that much patience to take them out one by one, you can start to take them out a little bit quicker. Sometimes people will use a fork to do it. Others, if you have an old washboard lying around, can also take them out this way. When you're doing it, whether it's inside or outside, make sure you have a bowl or a bag to catch the seeds so that way you're not losing any and have rogue sunflowers in your yard as well as sunflowers sitting in your kitchen counter or on the floor. You may be wondering if these sunflower seeds are ready to be roasted so that you can enjoy them. They are ready to be roasted and in two easy steps, you can have perfectly roasted sunflower seeds to enjoy. The first step in roasting sunflower seeds is boiling them. So first you want to get some water and some salt, put the, all of it into a big pot and place your sunflower seeds in there as well. Once the sunflower seeds have begun to boil, let them simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. The second step is to spread the seeds onto a sheet pan. So make sure you drain all the seeds out of the water and spread them in a single layer in a sheet pan. You want them to not touch just like the ones in my hand are doing right now. You want to be able to place them in an oven at 400 degrees on the top rack and roast for about 10 to 15 minutes. When you hit about the 10 minute mark, be sure to check on your seeds, maybe stir them around a little bit, and you can also begin to test them to see if they're as crunchy as you want or if they're still a little too soft. If they are to your satisfaction yet, make sure that you put them back in the oven for about two to five minutes. The sunflower seeds, once roasted, will look a little bit like this. They will, might have a little bit of a brown color from being roasted, but for the most part, they will look like this, just be a little crunchy. The seeds can quickly go from done, so they're dry and easy to bite into, to completely charred, so brown on the outside and on the inside. So as time gets closer, be sure to keep an eye out on the seeds. Next time you're out at the agri park, our sunflowers are ready to harvest, so be sure you come and check them out. Keep in mind, if you take multiple, that there are about 1,000 to 1,400 seeds on every single head, so plan accordingly if you can't enjoy all 1,000 seeds in one day when you go home to cook them. 